to always use protection. It's only to be used in a place where there's a, a specific problem to be solved. The most common place is going to be biographies of, of living people. That's, that's the most common place where we would have a problem that we want to solve with it. German Wikipedia has had this experiment of uh, using this uh, that you can't, you can edit if you're very new, but your edit doesn't go live immediately. They have that on all articles, and in some ways it's been a success. It's been a, gr a very good experiment, uh, because now it's almost impossible to find vandalism uh, that the public sees in German Wikipedia, but there has been some negative impact on participation. So the, the Germans are going to be reviewing that and looking at it. Um, I think, uh, this is my personal opinion and prediction, I think that after the English Wikipedia adopts the more open system and it's working, I think the Germans will probably go the same direction, but I don't know for sure yet. Uh, so the, the software feature, the way we want it to be implemented in English is not quite finished yet and I'm getting very um, annoyed because they keep telling me it's going to be finished soon. Uh, the last word I got is it may be uh, December before we're able to launch this, which I'm very unhappy about because I was promised it in August, but I should know by now um, if a programmer tells you it'll take six months, that means a year. Um, and uh, so it's, it's taking longer than I thought. Okay. Uh, io in realtà avevo una domanda sempre relativa alla qualità e un po' mi ha preceduto eh, nelle risposte che ha dato uh, allora recentemente eh, ho delle considerazioni da fare la Treccani recentemente ha annunciato che andrà online non con l'opera completa ma solo con alcuni volumi e il presidente della Treccani eh, evidentemente interrogato sulla presenza e sulla concorrenza di eh, Wikipedia eh, ha proprio detto che eh, a fare la differenza tra noi e eh, quest'altro eh, Wikipedia sarà la qualità. Detto questo, eh, poche settimane fa c'è stato un convegno dell'Ordine dei giornalisti eh, della Lombardia dove eh, è stata la si è annunciata diciamo, una proposta un po' particolare, ovvero quella di introdurre una specie di bollino qualità per gli articoli scritti dai giornalisti, quindi appunto un bollino qualità. Okay, I'm sorry. Eh, nello stesso convegno eh, un'altra partecipante disse va bene noi siamo qui a parlare di qualità davanti al nuovo mezzo che è internet e all'informazione online e questa situazione ricorda un po' quello che accadde con l'introduzione della stampa i copisti tirarono in ballo la questione qualità per tutelarsi lei cosa pensa eh, dell'idea dell del bollino qualità in generale sull'informazione online? Eh, e cosa pensa in generale della, della questione della qualità? È una croce che l'informazione online si porterà dietro sempre o ci sarà un punto di svolta? So, quickly, I have one question about the quality mark. Who, who would decide uh, the quality mark? In pratica, eh, i giornalisti, qualora pubblicassero degli articoli, chiaramente sia su blog che su qualunque tipo di testata, ehm, avrà, saranno segnalati ehm, proprio in quanto giornalisti, quindi come stampa attraverso, se ne sta ancora discutendo, non c'è nulla di definitivo, attraverso la segnalazione del numero progressivo del numero di tesserino, praticamente. Quindi la parola, diciamo, del giornalista è più credibile rispetto alla parola di un utente qualunque. I see. Okay, thank you. Well, so, I mean, I guess, um, first of all, about that kind of, um, I think it's perfectly fine if journalists want to have some code that they identify themselves as journalists. I don't think anyone actually thinks journalists are more credible than other people. Um, no, no, no. I, I can say, I, I think that there are very, very good journalists, and I'm really amazed uh, at the quality of work that comes out of a lot of journalists. A lot of journalists are maybe not so high quality. So my real point is not to say something negative about journalists, but it's also to point out that, particularly in the world of blogging, uh, my favorite blogs, I think, are as good as uh, anything that I could find in any uh, you know, very high quality magazine or uh, newspaper, uh, because the, well, my particular passion, um, and I can't even explain why, is, um, uh, constitutional law. I don't know why I find this so fascinating. So every time the Supreme Court in the U.S. issues a new major decision, I'm always very fascinated to go. I don't go to the newspaper to read about this because I know that the newspaper opinion columnists, well, they may be quite interesting and they may be political, but they're not constitutional law scholars, and that's who I like to read. I like to read the debates 
among law professors, which are now accessible even to some idiot from the public like me. So um, for me, that's quite, uh, when I think about this kind of quality mark, I think, well, I'm a reasonable judge of quality myself, and if someone's a law professor, that means a lot to me. If someone's a journalist, that may also mean a lot, but it doesn't, I don't think it really answers much of the question. Um, how I think about quality, um, and, and particular quality with respect to Wikipedia versus traditional encyclopedias, um, it's always been my passion that we should be, um, I always say Britannica or better quality, but you know, that's just because I'm an English speaker and I think of Britannica. Um, the, the, the idea is that we should have uh, the same or better quality than a traditional encyclopedia. Today, we, uh, we, do, we match traditional encyclopedias in some cases, and in some cases we don't. In some ways we're better, and in some ways we're not as good. Uh, certainly, uh, for certain topics, I know we're much, much better. So if you want to find out, uh, you know, our, our coverage of the latest uh, information in, uh, in computer technology, to give a, a typical example, we're several years ahead and our depth of quality is incredibly high on those topics. And I would say that our, our content is the best, like you're not going to find anything better in a traditional encyclopedia. Um, at the same time, it certainly is true that when you go to certain entries, uh, if they're being edited live and they're, they're under development, uh, sometimes the quality is much lower than I would like to see. The, the writing can be very choppy, there may be some misunderstandings, some confusions, uh, there may be a fight going on and that, that hurts the quality because people are trying to struggle with the words and so forth. Uh, but that's part of the process of Wikipedia. Um, and I think one of the things that we do reasonably well is that at least we warn people about the, the quality problems. Uh, you know, very often uh, you'll see in a Wikipedia entry uh, a statement saying, um, you know, the neutrality of this article has been disputed. Um, and this means that somebody in the community or somebody in the general public has said, this article doesn't look neutral to me, it seems biased. And they start to discuss it and we warn people, okay, well, right now we have a dispute about this article. I always say, I, I wish the New York Times would do this, uh, publish and say, <laughs> Uh, you know, because to say, you know, um, there is a tradition in journalism of writing in a certain very uh, authoritative style. Um, and they do this when they're perfectly confident in the story, but they also do it when they've just had a big fight in the newsroom as to whether they should even run the story. I think it would be very helpful if they adopted a tradition of saying, putting a note saying, hey, we, we had a big fight. Some of the people in the newsroom thought we shouldn't run this story, and other people thought we should. We're going to run the story, uh, but we're going to warn you that it's a developing subject and things may change dramatically tomorrow. So here's what we know today and, and we're not really sure about it. That's much better than reporting as if you know everything, which is often uh, the case. So um, the ways that I think we're going to get to that level of quality um, are things like flag revisions. Uh, they're things like really focusing on what are the problems in the quality. Uh, one of the things that I'm really strongly encouraging um, is um, academic research into the quality of Wikipedia. I think there's a couple reasons why that's important. First of all, I think that the quality of Wikipedia is um, higher than a lot of people realize, um, and we don't get that. When you read in the newspaper that some uh, racist comments were posted about a soccer star, which I heard was a, something that happened in, in Italy, um, well, it makes us seem really bad, and, but we know that well, those comments were there for a few minutes, which we hate that this ha would happen. But we also know that probably the article is normally quite good and, and quite interesting. And so I feel like more academic research will help us to show that the quality is, okay, pretty good. But also, and much more important, the second part of this is, if we have uh, research into the quality of Wikipedia, I think it will help our community understand better wh where are our strengths, where are our weaknesses. I mean, we would love to get a comprehensive report from a third party saying, uh, you know, the, the articles about, uh, I'll just make up an example, the articles about um, governments in Africa are very, very weak. They're, they're out of date, they're, they're whatever. I don't think this is actually true, it's just an example. Uh, that would be something that I can tell you the community would be very excited to find an area, to find uh, a general understanding so that we can then have a discussion. How do we, how do we find the right people to help us with this? How do we uh, get involved in this area? How do we improve Wikipedia in this way? 
I mean, one of the things about the Wikipedia community 